You're tuned in to 91.3 KXCI Tucson. My name is Matt Milner. This is Locals Only. And I am so pleased to be joined by Mama Cole and her band. Thank you for having us. Thanks for being here. Uh, so let's start off with introductions. Uh, not everyone's got a mic, so why don't you uh, do you everyone yeah. the honor of introducing... All right, we got tonight. Mr. Joshua Carruthers over here on the drums. Mr. Tuya Lund is on the bass. Steph Keppen on the keys and backing vocals. And Mr. Alvin Blaine, you just heard on electric guitar and banjo, and he may surprise you later with another instrument. <laughs> I'm Kara, Mama Cole, playing acoustic and singing for you. All right. Well, it is wonderful to have you down uh, and to be able to share these tracks from the new album. Um, so why don't we uh, kind of start at the beginning of the story for this album. So the last time that we had you on Locals Only, uh, it was, uh, I don't think it was that long after you'd started playing out in Tucson. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you had not yet released any music as a Tucsonan. You were still, you right. know, uh, sharing tracks from, from a, uh, a former life, so mm -hmm. to speak. Yeah. So how, how long into your life in Tucson was it before you started cooking up the tracks that ended up on this album? I would say most of these are from the last year and a half. Um, well, yeah. And one of them, I, that last one we did with the Patsy Cline yeah. revamp in the minor key, I've, I've been sitting on that for a long time, <laughs> wanting to record that. And uh, the uh, Tucson has really, and Arizona has really influenced this music yeah. dramatically. Because um, we started playing at the Maverick nightclub, mm -hmm. and uh, I had my eyes on that gig for a long time, and finally got my shot, and I was like, well, this is really fun. Everybody's <laughs> dancing. I love the way people interact with music, but I really want to play my songs. Yeah. And you can't play, like, singer-songwriter, too much slow stuff mm -hmm. in there, because it's just not what we're going for. So I started getting the idea of, I want to do some songs that would work in here, and I want to, yeah. like, see everybody, like, jump on the floor to my songs. So I started writing around that and um and some of the songs are specifically like designed that way. Um and also, you know, there's some really stuff that I just needed to get out of my heart and in here yeah. for sure too. Tell me about that experience, you know, as you were playing that gig and started to incorporate some of these new songs, some of these original songs. What was the reaction from the crowd that's you know, used to hearing yeah. favorites, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, how they have to feel? hear them. They have yeah. to hear them, and you have to put it in front of them yeah. so they can hear it. And um, I got a really good response. Um, people would come up and be like, we love that one. You got to put that one on the album. And now, you know, that the album's out and they can listen to it, I mean, they just rush. The dance floor fills up as soon as I play one of my songs that's meant for that. Yeah. Um, and so it feels really great, and it's just a wonderful way to connect and interact. Um, there's a lot of people who come out and just listen, too but the dancing's fun. It's like we're putting yeah. on a show together. <laughs> uh, was the process of, of uh, writing songs that were that you specifically had that context in mind for, did, did that feel like a different songwriting process than when you're you know, putting pen to paper for the more singer-songwriter oriented material? Yeah, it felt more like producing, I would say, in terms of like thinking about the whole feel like what um, rhythms did I want to try and I was actually really attracted to I could see what people were responding to in the covers that we would play mm, mm -hmm. um, we I wanted to do a Latin song because I loved when we would play a Latin country song and mm. people would like rush out and dance a little different you just see like the moves and I was like I want right. to experience that and um, right around that so I I did a concept album before the one that I was talking to mm -hmm. you about when I was on here before yeah. and concept is really great because it gives you something to write about sure it gives you like a reason to write and different things to try. Yeah. So that was really wonderful in that way. So uh, were some of the ideas, you talked about that you also had just some things that you had to get out there, right? And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm curious about some of the overlap between songs that you were writing knowing that you wanted to get people out on the dance floor and, and then just some of the emotional expression that came out as well. D did you find that, that those were separate batches of songs or did the lines start to blur? Well, I... I like emoting with waltzes, and I feel like waltz is a really um, important form of Western dance mm. that is actually not being like made very much anymore. Mm. Um, so 
when that when a song came out that way that was like very much like I wanted to capture a feeling I had for my husband um that worked really well yeah I mean we can't do five of those <laughs> but we can do one a set yeah. you know and uh and also you know just thinking about live performance too like just wanting people in the audience to feel different feelings and yeah, yeah. so but um you can write you know, you don't like once you have your rhythm going, you can decide what it's going to be about. It can be about anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the coolest thing with country music, it can be like really sad, but be really upbeat and, <laughs> and like ha make you feel really happy. Like, so. Yeah. Uh, so tell me about the recording process for the album. We recorded at St. Cecilia Studios and um, had a wonderful time with Steven. Um, it was just awesome i mean i did a lot of research i luckily am connected to all these wonderful musicians that you see in this room mm -hmm. and other people in town who had a lot of good um different ideas for me to check out and i just felt really good about that space and um executed a lot, most of everything there i did a lot of my vocals at home in my closet which was um really nice Avelino sanchez came over and had never hung out with him before but i saw him on stage and i really wanted to mail vocal on that first song mm -hmm. arizona sunset you can mm -hmm. hear it on the album um it's like well now we're we just first time hanging but let's go in my closet <laughs> <laughs> and um just sing your heart out for me uh -huh. and uh it was just really fun um it was really nice to do the vocals at home because i could play and play and play and i didn't feel like anyone was waiting for me mm -hmm. um and i could take a break and i could come back and um I was really blessed to have kind of one of my most loyal fans as a home recording uh, buff and f hobbyist, and he lent me a microphone, and so I had access to that, and that was a game changer. <laughs> so the recording process was long, yeah, and it you know you you want to work so hard and you can't let it go until it's like just right. So you're it was longer than I wanted it to be, mm -hmm. but um, it was worth it because I couldn't let any little piece of it go. You alluded to the fact that you had a, an incredible list of players that collaborated on the album. So when you were putting that producer hat on, did you have the sort of sounds of certain players in mind as you were starting to think about some of the arrangements? Or was it, uh, or, or, or were those things that took shape once you actually re recruited the folks who were going to come in and lay down tracks? Yeah, I definitely have my A-team. And then if I want a particular instrument, I would look around and say, who do you guys recommend for that? And mm -hmm. That's how that's how that came about. Yeah, but I definitely already had some relationships um, that were nice with some of the greatest players in town. Lucky, oh. lucky me. <laughs> so it wasn't too hard to yeah. uh, find people. So uh, if folks want to be able to find the album, what's the best way to do that? Um, it's everywhere streaming. And if you want to purchase it, you can come to a show. My CDs are always pay what you wish if you want to purchase a physical copy. I'm just really happy somebody wants to hold that and take it home with them. Yeah. Um, and you can go to Bandcamp, another way to purchase. Um, I've had some purchases from UK and, and Europe, and that's been kind of fun. Um, cool. So figuring out how to ship things over there. But um, yeah, that's uh, but listening anywhere, all the things. It's distributed everywhere. So you just have to spell my name right, which well, most people can't do. It's <laughs> yeah. two M's in the middle. It's mama like Willie and Waylon spelled it, is what I would say. There you and go. Uh, <laughs> I just was hanging out with somebody like, I really wanted to hear your music, but I couldn't find it. And I'm like, let me check. And I, they brought up like the last things you searched. Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's spelled wrong. She's like, I thought I, sp I could spell mama right. I'm like, most people can't actually. <laughs> you know, I got my own thing over here. I like the doubles, uh -huh. I like all those triangles in there yeah I'm, so. I'm counting the peaks behind you i'm sorry i'm gonna have to pay an expensive dentist bill for steph before the end of the night because no matter how far away i move i keep hitting her microphone we're cozy in but here. yeah uh i'm so sorry all good. my teeth are still intact <laughs> okay good um well i'll keep the hand motions to a minimum and we'll get back into our next set here right. with mama cole uh what do you any uh, thing you want to say to introduce uh, the next one you're going to share this one, um, Lead Her On, it has a great video that we made at the Maverick and features um, dancers from different generations expressing their love on the dance floor and having some fun. So that's a really fun video to check out on YouTube. 